Hello, my fellow fellows, and greetings from the Council Office of the Worldwide ICD. Iarhi ine toimisi tu pantos. That quotes from the Greek philosopher Aristotle, and it means well begun is half done. Today, new fellows, I direct that quote to you. Your ICD journey is well begun indeed. You've been chosen to enter the oldest and largest honor society for dentists in the world. Our members come from 122 countries, and although we have 12,000 fellows, they've been selected from a worldwide population of 1.7 million dentists. It is indeed a rare and singular honor to be invited into fellowship. You're joining the ranks of the leaders in our profession, the outstanding teachers and researchers, the providers of humanitarian care to the less fortunate. You'll be presented to the audience. Your accomplishments will be celebrated. You'll receive your keys and your certificates. You will have begun your journey in the ICD well, but you will only be half done. This honor comes with rights and responsibilities. The International College of Dentists exists to elevate the quality of dentistry throughout the world. The ICD exists to increase access to dental care throughout the world. The college exists to develop, promote, and recognize leadership in dentistry around the world. You were recognized as a dentist who exhibits and promotes these values. Hello's old and new, I direct this message to each of you. The college needs your help. The USA section, my home section, has a reputation for being the dominant ICD entity with approximately half the membership. Some see that fact as a problem for the college and would try to reduce the section's influence. I have a different point of view. The dominance and activity of section one is not a problem for the college. The inactivity and lack of dominance of some of our other sections is a problem for the college. This is not necessarily the fault of the leadership of those sections. It is a result of some significant barriers to fellowship that were placed by prior leaders and often placed with the best of intentions by those leaders. So I'm asking each of you, my respected fellows, to look into the barriers that your predecessors may have placed in the path of fellowship and try to remove them. If your bylaws specify that a candidate needs an unusual qualification to become a member, please eliminate that requirement. Please picture in your mind what the top 2% of your section's dentists would be in terms of leadership, teaching and mentorship, research, and humanitarian service. And then look at your bylaws and processes with an eye toward being able to truly honor those 2%. If your process places a stumbling block in the way of bringing in a worthy candidate, please change the process. As a college, the largest and oldest honor society for dentists in the world, we seek to honor every deserving fellow. As previously noted, we have 12,000 members out of a worldwide dental population of approximately 1.7 million dentists. If we truly have honored the top 2%, the college would have 36,000 fellows. The top 4% would give us 72,000 members. And because everything we do is funded by the capitation fees of our fellows, $20 US per active fellow, growth and development is becoming more crucial. The college has not grown in over a decade, and some of our sections are actually shrinking. We need to seek strong representation for our profession on every continent, every major country, every place that provides dental care in order to reach our potential as the worldwide leader in international dental humanitarian service. Our status as the largest and oldest international honor society for dentists in the world gives us an enormous opportunity and the social responsibility to occupy this niche in worldwide dentistry. It is now crucial that every section develop a plan for growth and a strategy to give us the manpower to remain the active, vibrant force that we have been in international dental service. Membership recruitment does not happen at the level of the ICD Executive Committee or even at the level of the Council. Membership recruitment happens in the real world, out in the places we serve and practice and volunteer. I ask each of you who watch this message to identify in your own minds the deserving colleagues who would be honored to become fellows of the ICD, and then I ask you to provide them with your sponsorship. If you show me the person that you honor, I'll know the person that you are. So you see, well begun is half done. I wish each of you the blessings of our wonderful profession, and I thank you for being a member of our great college. We prosper from your fellowship.